Have you ever wondered on how you could fully optimize your YouTube video to its fullest potential? Well, stay tuned because next I'm going to teach you on how to create traffic and bring more views to your videos. What's up YouTube community? This is Louis Reynoso because you already know so. Today I will show you on how you could view other people's mysterious tags on their videos because after all, you cannot see them. Of course, there are many factors for optimizing your YouTube videos such as having enticing titles that will attract the audience, having great descriptive words in your description in order to show the viewers of what the video will be about or tagging your videos with keywords that viewers are searching up online and that would definitely rank up your videos up in the search results. So tags are an important factor in your videos. As I mentioned before, tags are descriptive keywords that allow your videos to be discovered. For example, if you're shooting a video on how to tie a tie, some keywords that you could include in your video are, you could put how to tie a tie in parentheses. You should put keywords that have multiple words inside parentheses. Another keyword could be tie. Another one could be tutorial. So these are all keywords that describe what your video will be about. And this is an essential step that you must take if you want your video to succeed and attract as much attention as you may want. All right, so it's time to begin this tutorial. You will need a computer with internet access and Google Chrome. If you don't have Google Chrome, if you're anti-Google, then I will provide the link down below so you could download Google if you really want to proceed with this video. So the first step is you have to go to vidIQ. So this is the website you have to go to and I will provide the link down below and then install the Chrome extension right here. Once you press it, it's going to take you to the Chrome web store. You right here on the top right, you add it to your Chrome. Then once you have it added, you could go to any YouTube video. That will be the next step. So for example, in my case, I already have a YouTube video already up. So once you go to that YouTube video, on the bottom right of the video, you will see you will see a section of vidIQ basic. And basic meaning that you have the free version because there is a, a pro version. But for the purpose of this video, we'll just keep it free. What you're going to have to do as you, for your first time is to s sign up for a new account. You're going to ask for your name, your email, and your password, and then you have to confirm your password, and that's it. So once you do that and you sign up, just refresh the page on that YouTube video, and then it will look just like this. So as you can see... It has a lot of information, it might be important for you, it might not be important, but the point is, for the purpose of this video, we will be focusing on tags only, which is located in the bottom of the section of vidIQ. So now with vidIQ, it will allow you and give you access to those tags. So now you're asking, Louis, why is this important? This is important because this is perfect for anyone who is starting or want to create traffic on their own video. So you could utilize other people's tags in your videos in order to create a more optimized video and to get more views. No, do not get me wrong. You should never just copy and paste someone else's tags on your videos just to get the same amount of views that that person obtained. Only because that person has 3 million views and they have 14 tags doesn't mean that as soon as you copy and paste those 14 tags you will get 3 million views so for example in this video graphic design portfolio advice for 2015 is the title that the Roberto Blake put on this video and some of his tags were graphic design graphic design portfolio graphic design portfolio advice etc etc as you can see all of these tags deal with the title and yes that's another thing do not do not mislead your viewers into thinking that your video is about naked ladies giving you free money if your video is not about 
naked ladies, which it should not be about naked ladies, so that was a bad example. Let's say if it's about on how to get free money in, in a business or online. If it's not about that and it's about ranting on how you don't get free money or on how you don't get money from your boss for some odd reason, then you should not put that as your tag. Your tag should strictly be about your video only. So ladies and gentlemen, that's the end. Quick tutorial on how to view tags of another person's YouTube video in order to create traffic and obtain more views on your own YouTube video. So if you want any more future videos just like this one, comment, subscribe, comment down below. If you have any questions, I'll get back to you. Have a nice day, ladies and gentlemen.